Crow777 YouTube channel had shown a while back a video of a wave going across the moon. Yes, yes, lunar wave theory. I can only describe it as looking almost at some kind of distortion. That's the word that comes to mind. Okay, what you're looking at, Crystal, I don't, I don't really subscribe to their whole belief about what they're saying because to me, the simulacrum has an energy source. It has to be rebooted. Changes in the simulacrum come like seven times a second faster than we can really recognize them unless we're going through a, a period of hyperlucidity. A car is about to hit you or you're about to have an accident and the entire world and simulation slows down as you go, enter into a phase of hyper-awareness where all your senses are heightened. Because when those endorphins and adrenaline is pumping through your system that fast, time will slow down for you. You will be able to perceive things better. And this is how we have better reaction times when we're scared or when, we, when we're shocked and all that. But the same thing with, with the moon. The, the, it is a phase. It is a reboot. It's happening every seven seconds or so. It's, it's a reboot where reality itself is re-knitting. This is how the, everything moves. It moves. It's, it's, it's wave, 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 wave. And, and during those waves, everything's moving. It's just like the old movie reels. It's, it's really no different. The, the, this vast hologram we live in has to reboot multiple times a second just to, just to continue. Let's see. And that wave you're seeing is the slight changes that are being made with each edit. 